Support Laneside. Get something cool. All right, guys, so welcome back. As you can see here, we have our first new product of the new year. Now, uh, when Gregory and the guys at uh, Bull Dry contacted me uh, about three weeks ago, I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna be getting here. All they said was, uh, we got this cool product, um, quotations on cool, um, that we'd like you to, to uh, just kind of give a try out and uh, tell us what you think. So I gave them the address here for the shop and they sent it along and it's finally arrived. So uh, let's give it kind of a look here. So uh, as you can tell, Bull Dry makes rechargeable fans. Now this is something I tell my students, uh, especially my tournament bowlers, that they should have in their bags. Uh, especially if you're going to another climate. As a Canadian, uh, when I went down to uh, the World Series, when I went down to Vegas, there was, you know, just a, a, a tiny bit of a difference in the temperature. So uh, a fan can help keep you cool no matter what the temperature is. It can also help calm you down by just going and making it part of your routine, letting the wind kind of flow over you and letting yourself center. It's kind of something that you can do to you know, rejuvenate and kind of refresh before your sh next shot. So, let's take a look here. Uh, so right away, the package is kind of cool. I mean, nothing nothing blow away special about the package here. Um, let's kind of give it an open here. Do, do, do. Ooh, oh, now right away, I'm very happy about this um, because it comes with a charger cord and it is a USB charger cord. Uh, which means I can plug it into my computer, I can plug it into uh, my phone charger, whatever, I can take this wherever I want. Pretty much any country I go to, I can charge this fan. That's really, really, really good for tournament bowlers, because uh, you never know what your power source is, but USB, if you can plug a computer in, you can plug this sucker in. So first, awesome. <clears throat> Next. Um, okay, we got the fan here. And we got some instructions. Uh, so let's see here. I always check this one first because it's the one that's always the most annoying. How long does this thing take to charge? Do, 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 do. Uh, about four to five hours charging time. That's not bad on USB. You think it's only getting 3.76 watt maximum output. It's getting maybe 1.5 to three volt input through this thing. Um, so uh, it should be, that's a, that's a pretty good charging time. I mean, it could be faster, could be slower. Um, if you have a rapid charger, I'm not sure if it'll charge it faster. Um, I would just generally plug this into a regular USB. Um, the fan itself, let's take a look here. Um, hey, good to know. It's QC passed. It means somebody's tested this out. Uh, obviously, it's going to have to get charged. Let's take a look here. Yeah, input 0. 0.5 to 1 amp, 5 to 9 volt output, 5 volt input. Yeah, so it doesn't take exactly a lot of power to charge this thing. Let's take a look. It's got a battery socket here. Oh, that's cool. So they've actually designed this sucker. Um, this cell in here is replaceable. Um, now, it's much bigger than a double A. I know most people are going to look at this and think, oh, double A, but let me pull out a double A here. I have one in my camera kit. Let me pull out a double A here. So this is a nondescript, non-brand double uh, A battery. And you can see it's pretty significantly different. Uh, and just for those people who don't believe me, you can see right there, it says size, double A, HR6. Um, but it's kind of cool that they've taken the time to put a replaceable battery in this. Um, though I say I'm really good with batteries, and it is a lithium ion battery, um, I'm sometimes pretty terrible with my charging, or I'll you know charge them over and over and over again really fast. And batteries only have a certain amount of life, so the fact that you can replace this, I think is actually a pretty cool design feature. Um, but this means we're gonna have to charge it. So I'm gonna undo this stuff here, and we're gonna plug it into the computer here, and 
we're gonna let it charge for a few hours. We're gonna give it a try. So I'm just gonna plug that in there. Uh, the port's pretty stable in there. The cord's actually not bad. It's a decently thick cord. Um, plugging into the port, it does fit pretty snugly. There's not a lot of movement in it. Oh, there's a nice charging light on it. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, well, let's let this thing charge, and uh, we'll come back to it in a few minutes. So here we are. Five hours later, we've got this sucker... Well, it's got a hold on there. The um, the the USB is tight, um, so definitely make sure you grab onto this thing. You don't want to wreck the port. You don't want to wreck your um, your wreck your cord here because it is a nice cord. But anyway, um, we're back here. We got it plugged in. Let's take this thing uh, for a spin. So let's turn it on for the first time. Okay. okay, so the important thing is, some of you may have noticed when we first opened this up five hours ago, that there was something right here. When we were talking about how awesome this battery is, yeah, well they, um, they put a piece of paper in there. Um, so that your battery doesn't get wrecked during shipping um, but if you're stupid like me, um, you should remember to take this out. Um, so let's just put that back in there. Now, being lithium-ion, it should have a little bit of a charge in it anyway. So let's take a look here. Oh. Point it towards the camera here. It started right up with, a, with no charge in it. That's pretty cool. Let me see if we can find something here that can kind of show that setting one. It's a kind of a gentle breeze, I call it. And now setting two is pretty good. You can see it's not bad. It's got some. It's got some blowing power here. All right, now let's see if this thing really blows. LOL. Okay. So right off the bat, I don't know if you guys can even hear me here. This actually has some significant power to it. Uh, I have it blown here in my face. Uh, and on maximum, it is actually pretty strong. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? This is not this is not the best place to test this. Now that we know that this works, I think we should go down to the lanes and bowl, work up a sweat here, and see how uh, how this uh, little guy stacks up. What do you guys think? All right, let's go. All right, so we said we were gonna come down to the lanes, and uh, here we are. We've got uh, scoops. Say hi, scoops. Um, uh, we're gonna. Pull a little five gamer, and uh, we're gonna use the fan and see how uh, how it keeps us cool, how the different settings work, and uh, generally how long it lasts during the event. So uh, I guess we should probably take it the lane to see how it stacks up. All right, Nick. So we're four games in here. Yeah. Is that fan still on it? Yes. That's like the windstorm, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's so, awesome. Yeah. So uh, if you're looking for something to keep it cold during the league, I mean we're balling in the middle of this tournament. We don't want to pass in the league taste. Building up a sweat. You can see, even this fat guy's not really that sweaty. So uh, check this out. It's at bulldry.com and uh, we'll see you guys later inside. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time guys, we'll see you lane side.